Hey, Star Wars action figure collectors, it's Darth Phoenix 619 coming at you with another review, and this time we have Pablo Jill from the Black Series Wave 2. So, I'm excited, I love Jedi, you know, I just recently got those Attack on Geonosis Jedi packs, and I'm just, you know, slowly adding more and more to it, it's actually pretty close to completing the Jedi collection, or the Jedi that I want. So this is one guy I've been looking forward to for a while. I mean, he was released back in, I think it was 2004, part of the OTC collection. And I just never really wanted that figure because the articulation just didn't look good. I'm like, I'm hoping they update this guy soon, and they did. So he looks really cool. So it's your standard Black Series package. He's kind of bulging out a little bit because <laughs> it seems to... I know he's a pretty tall... Well, not pretty tall figure, but taller than most. And you got your image right there. So hopefully the... The lighting can get that. <laughs> Such a unique alien Jedi for sure. A little image on the back. And then there is a little sentence synopsis of who Pablo Joe is. So let's go ahead and, and take him out of the packaging. Now that's a face only a mother could love, that's for sure. This guy has a great head sculpt. Look at those teeth and those gums. Now that is attention to detail right there. I mean, I hope my camera's picking it up, but you can see like the gums and the, the, the white teeth, and that just looks cool. That I really like. That's awesome, and I know with my camera not focusing and the lighting being all weird, there you go. That's really cool. Okay. Got the Y's on there on the eyes. <laughs> nice gold paint job, but this guy, this facial sculpt, wow, that's really cool. Uh, the I don't know, but I noticed that my my head's a lot darker than the hands, and I'm not sure if that's just normal. But you can see there that the the hands are light a different tone. But I guess I don't know, that's probably part of the figure. Just great head sculpt right there. So here he is in the uh, Jedi robe, and I do actually prefer him in the Jedi robe. I just think I don't know. Just I think on, with him on, it looks much better. So I kind of tucked in the hood because the hood is oversized. This one was not, it's not a good fit on him. So if, if the hood is, I you know, I tucked it in into itself just to kind of make it drape. So I think it looks better that way. If not, it, it'd be covering his, it'd be way too big on him. So as you can tell, the sleeves are big, but that doesn't really bother me at all. So just wanted to show you what he looked like with his robes on. So it's good to take a look at the figure without the robes. Okay. So there he is without his robes, and uh, uh, very, of course, you know, Pablo Jill is a very distinct alien in, in his stance and just his his aesthetic, the way he is, his appearance, very different from most Jedi out there, and I think that makes him just really sought after because a lot of people like the alien Jedi. But uh, yeah, I mean, brand new figure, he's got a great sculpt here on the Jedi tunic, looks really good. Um, you can see some little different paint, silver paint apps on the belt. Uh, there's a peg there, but he does not come with an extra lightsaber hilt. Is that a peg, actually? It might be just a black paint. Hmm, hard to tell from this angle. <laughs> and then he's got some pouches there on the back. So I like the way the tunic flows here. Looks good. You know, his joints seem to be matching up nicely, even on his boots there, so that's a nice plus. So, he's got the bent knees here with the leg kind of goes backwards, kind of like a chicken. So it's really nice, and he's got the three, four fingers on, on, the, on the hand there. And, uh, you know, you got to kind of fiddle with him um, for him to stand, but he does stand. I've got him to stand. You just really have to fiddle with his legs and his. Of course, he doesn't want to stand now, <laughs> but it's doable. I've done it. So, with the robe on, with you know, no stand really needed, but there it is. <laughs> but I mean, if you want to get him some more elaborate uh, poses, you probably will need a stand. So, so yeah, I, I think he looks really good. Really, really do like the way. He looks, I was really excited to get him. So, comes with uh, his lightsaber, plain simple hilt there, nothing too special. The blue blade, which, um, 
kind of fits loosely in his hands, but he can't hold it. So, as for articulation, you've got your uh, ball jointed head, which doesn't move up very much. Uh, ball hinged knees, I'm oh, sorry, ball hinged shoulders, ball hinged ankles. You got um, like a ball hinge on his uh, uh, wrist there, and you got a swivel waist, and a uh, ball hinged on his hips, so they do go out. And then you've got the ball hinge on the knees, and then um, ball hinge on his ankles. So don't think there's any articulation at this. No, there isn't. So hopefully I got all that. <laughs> but he's a very cool figure. I, a definite must. You know, you can get this guy online for retail, if not a little bit more than retail. And, you know, he is popping up in stores here and there. So definitely recommend Pablo Jill. Uh, especially into, if you're into Jedi. Okay, so that's pretty much it. So until next time, you guys, may the Force be with you.